ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? You ready? No, oh, man. This is part of the power series, I believe. Come on. Let's go. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. No! All the way over here. Isn't that the geometric? Well, I know they're calling it a power series right now because you put your X in it. And you know that's never a good idea. We're going to get your X involved. But what? We have this geometric. It converges when the absolute value of the common ratio is smaller than 1. We'll get to that example in a minute. But right now, let's come right up in it. What are we trying to find? We're trying to find an A over 1 minus X. Yeah. All right. So we're trying to get that in that form. So I see I have a 3 there. What does it need to be? It needs to be a 1. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to divide everything by a 3. So that's a 5 over 3, a 3 over 3, a minus x over 3. <laughs> so when we do that then, uh, that's a 5 thirds, that's a 1 minus, now come on now, that's a 3, and then that's a 1, and that's an x over a 3. We know that's going to converge when x over 3 is smaller than 1, and then what is it going to converge to? It's going to converge to the sum of five thirds and starts at nothing and goes forever and then that's an x over three to the n yeah it's going to converge to that why well look it's geometric i'm sorry we're calling it power series now you ready you ready i can actually make that a little bit nicer calling it um five times one third to the n plus one and then x to the n but you know what probably do what amber does and leave it just like that who's amber what are we going to do? We're going to come up over here. Yeah. All right. Sure. So what do I have? I need it in that form. So I need a one right there. But first I need to pull out the flipping negative. That's going to be a seven over a minus. Wait for it. Nah, -uh. Because when I pull the minus sign out, it's going to commute those terms. Look at it. I'm going to go and I'm going to put that seven up there. And then what? Make seven up yours. Yeah. Up yeah. You need to have that to be a 1. So we're going to go and we're going to divide everything by a 6. 6. So that's a 6 over a 6. And then an x over a 6. Okay. All right. So um, that's a minus 7 over 6 divided by a 1 minus an x over 6. six. Now what? We have it of the form. Dang. I'm going to take it right up in the middle. Ah. So here we go. What do we have? Um, that's going to converge. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, A. Eh? So what? That's the sum minus 7, 6. Is it really? Is it? Uh, so I pulled the flip and negative. I pulled the minus up there. It's negative. It's negative. It's negative. Could be it's a freaking negative. And then I have a 1 there. That's good. And a minus. That's good. That's your X right there. <laughs> over 6, and then that's going to be to the n. That's when n starts at 1, because, nah, -uh, n starts at 0. It's important. What? Like the t in important? No, it's important. There's a t in important! Oh, that it starts where the first term is the constant out front. And there you go. That's going to converge when x over 6 is absolutely smaller than 1. So then, there you go. You can make that one a little bit nicer like that, but hey, hey, hey. Oh. 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 Wait, 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 wait. Kobe! Damn, I missed. Last one. Kobe! Mm. Yo, I know I just flipped those last two markers, but we have some unfinished business. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're over here. We look at that and they give us that. These are the terms of our sequence. If we rewrite it as a sequence, then um, what do we have? Looks like our A1 is a one. And then what our R is like that. And we should totally check that, that that's a one half. And then that's an X minus three to the n power, and then that's negative right there. Sure, so then I can rewrite all of that so that it reflects that 
again. So that's a minus one half times x minus three t t. And then that's all to the n then. That's when n is equal to zero to infinity. And then once we have it like that, we can see that our a is gonna be a one. And then this is a one minus. That is gonna be our r. What? It's so convoluted and so weird looking. So is your face. That's a three minus an x all over a deuce. Just like that, I like that. Oh, what I do? I commuted the two because of that minus sign and that. Mm, wait, do I have it there? Yeah, it's fine. And that converges when all of that is absolutely smaller than zero. So you go, you clean that up. There's a deuce up there. A two minus a three is a minus one. Call it a minus deuce, and then that's an x plus one. Oh, no, wait, minus and minus is, wait, I, I don't know. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's not. I should be looking at you.